हेलो फ्रेंड्स द इमेज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इट इज़ बेसिकली ए 363 टन क्रेन एंड दिस इज़ बेसिकली ए 500 टन क्रेन एंड बोथ दीज क्रेन टिप ओवर बिकॉज दिस टिप ओवर हैपन्स बिकॉज द लोडिंग आर्म ऑफ द क्रेन रीच इज इट्स लोड लिमिट एंड टिप्स ओवर तो दीज आर द कॉमन एक्सीडेंट वेन वी डजेंट एडहर टू सेफ्टी वी डजेंट एडहर टू बेसिकली कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द क्रेन एंड वी डजेंट एडहर टू द लोड चार्ट तो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्रेन टिप ओवर तो हेयर दीज आर द टू एक्सीडेंट एंड दीज सच एक्सीडेंट रिजल्ट इन द डैमेज टू द प्रॉपर्टी एज वेल एज the damage to the equipment and uh, results in the additional cost of the project as well as the image of the contactor uh, basically tarnish the image of the contactor so this is basically the simple funda of the crane tip over before doing any lifting we must analyze first of all we always adhere to the load plan provided by with the crane and then only we have to lift still we uh, use simple basic calculation in order to understand the stability and the tip over तो इन दिस फिगर दिस इज बेसिकली क्रेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्रेन लेट अस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल सैनी 500 टन क्रेन इट इज अवेलेबल विद अस ओके नाउ फॉर द सैनी क्रेन बेसिकली द आउट रिगर दिस इज लॉन्गिट्यूडनल एक्सिस ओके एंड दिस इज बेसिकली ट्रांसवर्स एक्सिस दीज आर टू एक्सिस ऑफ द क्रेन नाउ दिस लॉन्गिट्यूडनल एक्सिस लेंथ that uh, distance between the two outrigger on the longitudinal side is always greater than on the transverse side so it is 9.6 meter and it is basically 9.4 meter so there are two terms that we must be familiar with the first is the stability and the second term is the tip over so stability how stability is calculated and why crane tip over so basically we go into the basics of mechanical engineering or basics of simple lever rule if this is the lever and this is the point of the fulcrum okay and their weight is something at a distance l1 and there is some weight at a distance l2 even there are more weights let us suppose this weight is m1 this weight is m2 even there are weights m3 at a distance l3 there are weight m4 at a distance l4 okay in the order of the lever the net movement this the movement due to these weights the movement due to these weights add up to zero about the fulcrum then this will be stable if there is net movement on either side if there is some movement on this side then this fulcrum this will move like this if there is net movement on this side so this will move like this this is the basic principle and the crane is it crane is a huge machine but its balancing is based on this principle only okay so we will understand how we are applying this principle and what is basically stability and what is turn over uh, how we are able to define it okay so first of all i will delete this now uh, we move to our crane this is basically sani 500 ton crane okay the outrigger distance is 9.4 meter at this transverse side and longitudinal size is 9.6 meter so there are two terms i am again explaining one is the stability of the crane one is stability and the other is the tip over this stability is given by the counterweight counter weight is given in the tons okay tons into outrigger width and outrigger width is basically what 9.4 meter we have to take the transverse side into 9.4 meter okay and tip over is given by load weight into radius load weight into radius and now these always stability must be greater than or equal to tip over if any condition these two terms counter weight into outrigger width if you multiply comes less than this load weight into radius then the crane will tip over like this as we have seen over here so this is the basic funda of crane tip over